Yarnabies. How are you today? <sighs> well, so I have to say thank you so much to all of you for your outpour of love and support from my last video. <clears throat> um, it's, it's been, it's been tough at the shop, but you know what? On the days that are not busy, I get things done, right? And so that's good. Um, I'm probably on Monday. Uh, George is going to come and we're going to start rearranging. Whoops, sorry. I've got my phone plugged in, so. And I've got you set up on my, um, what do you call it? Credit card machine thing. <laughs> um, so he's going to be coming on Monday. And we're going to be rearranging the shop a little bit. So, um, I'm hoping it's going to be better. I'm going to be putting all of my, like my purses and everything. Let's see, I've got, ooh, back there are all of my purses and everything. I'm going to be putting everything on this wall. This wall is going to have all of my purses, all of, all of this stuff and like all of, I'm going to try and put, um, this jewelry, oops, this jewelry, all of this is going to hopefully go on a shelf on this wall. Um, all the touristy stuff is going to go here and I'm going to actually put my desk over there and I'm going to move this around, move this around a little bit because that whoop, right there. That's my back room. Okay, this closet has um, just stuff in it. And this is, this is the back door to the bathroom. So the problem I'm having is that when people, you're going, on, going for a ride here, is that when people come in, they're looking in that back room thinking that there's something in there for them. So I want to kind of block that off. Um, and like keep it open as a fire exit, but just have a little path. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> oh man, not enough coffee. I'm going to have a little path there so I can still get through. Um, it's going to be a little bit challenging because the plug, the only plug that I have over there is in that back room. So I have a long extension cord, so hopefully that'll all work out. Um, yeah, so it's gonna, we're gonna rearrange it a little bit and see if that will work better. Um, down in Victoria, um, there is a counter, a retail counter that I'm thinking of getting. Uh, because this desk that I'm using is not working. I keep smacking my knees on it and it's just... It's an old style, um, like little desk that used to have a mirror on it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just not working for me, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I want to open up this whole section and be able to put, put more in it. So yeah, but anyway, so right now I have made the decision. Oh, excuse me. Oh. I'm not sleeping well, you guys. <laughs> um, I've made the decision that, okay, I haven't been doing amigurumi or anything because my insurance wouldn't cover me for that. Um, so I kind of decided to say screw you because my biggest seller was my pickles, one of my biggest sellers. So I decided to make my pickles again. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. I've been making these little guys and I've put them right by my tail. And I'm hoping that that's gonna generate some sales. Um, yeah. So anyway, I started working some more on 
that um oh i haven't showed you guys oh okay you know the squares these these squares that i showed you guys i started making the sweater so hang on oh. hopefully i'll do i can do this without ripping out too many of my stitches because i don't have stitch markers in them <laughs> why i don't know hang on let me turn you a little bit Oh man, this setup. I could just put up my tripod, couldn't I? Ugh. So anyway, okay, so here's my squares. So I did a light one and a dark one, a light one and a dark one, and then a light one again. So that's gonna be the middle of the back. And then I'm doing this panel and then this panel. I've got two, um, two balls of yarn on either side because I don't exactly know how wide I want it yet so I'm kind of working on them at the same time um, so I've done this side and now I'm working on this side um, to kind of see how wide it's going to be and if I need to make it any bigger so once I'm finished that panel then I can work on the front two panels oh George is trying to call me I can work on ooh, the front two panels and then, and then I can work on the arms. I already have the squares for the arms. I just have to put them together and yeah. Uh, I hate doing four panels for a sweater, but it's the only way I know how to do this one right now. <sighs> Darn it, excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have I could have just gone up the side of the squares and then just chained uh, like a whole bunch just to bring it over the shoulders and then do it that way. Now that I'm thinking about it, that probably would have been a smart thing to do. But um, I didn't exactly know from the, 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 the top of the square, the top square, how much I would need for the collar. Because I don't know if I want to have the square right up top or if I want to have it down further so I don't know I'll figure it out later but I think it's going to turn out really pretty I'm excited oh I um I sold a Rewina yesterday yesterday was not a bad day a lady came in and she bought a my last Rewina that I had and a top that I had I don't know if I have a picture of it, but um, I showed it to you guys uh, I, when I finished it. It's the purple top with the black stripes. So she bought that. And then she said, you know, if you make anything black or purple or have crows, I will buy it. And I was like, okay, because she liked the peekaboo shirt um, that I had, but she says she wants it, wants crows. And I was like, why don't I have something with crows like that duh um so yeah if you don't know what i'm talking about the peekaboo shirts hang on right there there's that one and then there's the one behind it is also a cow but the one that's in the window you can't see it but you can kind of see it's got um i did there we go i did the sleeves i cut the sleeves and i put beads on them on the sleeves so yeah so I'm going to um, do those uh, tomorrow's my day off so um, yeah we might do that uh, either that or I'm gonna be going to Victoria to go and get some stuff uh, there's a bead store closing down there whoops and they've got everything for 50% off so I thought hmm I wonder if I should go down there and get some bead findings like get my earring hooks and all that down there are you coming in nope um yeah so that's what I'm working on right now uh I want to get those two done you know that big thick sweater that I was working on uh, I've, I'm halfway done the one sleeve I don't know why I don't just get that one done and like do the two sleeves and then do the collar and then boom I'm done you know, but I'm thinking maybe it's too heavy 
um, right now because we're going into fall but I, or into spring. I don't know, guys, because my other sweater is still sitting here. So I don't get it. I don't get it. When we do the craft fairs, my sweaters and everything go fast. I can't keep them in stock. Oh, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> I cannot keep them in stock. Um, but here it's totally different. It's totally different. It's like, I don't know, because I'm a permanent fixture here now, maybe they think, oh, it's okay. I'll just come back. If it's here, it's here. If it's not, it's not. Whereas at a craft fair, it's like, oh, I better get it now because this is the only day to be here, uh, that they'll be here. So I don't know. I don't know. But who knows? Um, oh, I had a wonderful visit from Louise, if you guys remember. Uh, Louise lives up island from me, about two hours away. Um, and she brought in all that beautiful um, crocheted work that I have in the shop. She came back and she came to visit me and she brought a couple of things in um, that are just gorgeous. Hang on, let me show it to you. Okay, so she came in the last time and she bought this yarn. Oops, I'll bring it out a little bit. She bought some of this yarn for me. She bought a three pack. Now, this stuff is not the softest um, yarn. It really needs to be softened up. But she made this. Oh, let's see. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, of course, this, this doesn't do it justice. Not at all. Um, but, whoop. like, look at this. And she just, she pulls this stuff out of her head. You know, it's like, oh, it's so pretty. Like, like I just, I'm, I'm such a fan of knit stuff. Like, it's just crazy. Like, I can't even, um, it just, this doesn't do it justice at all. I'd have to, I think I have to put it on a mannequin or something. So, she made that and then she softened the yarn but it's so pretty and then she made this which oh I just can't even you know it's just gorgeous wait till you see the back or maybe I'll put it on here and then I can show you the back Look at that. It's so pretty. And look at the sparkle. Can you see that? She mixed two yarns together. Um, it's just, oh, it's so soft and squishy. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I just love this. I love this. And this is all knit except for this part. This part's crocheted. But it's so nice. I just love it. I had a lady. I was wearing it because she made it and she says, I want you to wear, you know, use this as a display and wear it. And I was wearing it and a lady <laughs> said to me, she says, oh, did you make that? And I says, no, actually, I did not. I says, I, and I explained um, who Louise was and that she lived up island, lives up island and um, I showed her the other stuff that she makes like like this I love this like this is such a pretty sweater right and then she made this I showed this all to you guys before but this is so soft oh I just love this and then she made this you know so, yeah, so she brought those in, and um, so now I've got them on display. And I just, mm, she's, she, she's an amazing, amazing um, 
fiber artist, I'll tell you. And that's exactly what she is, a fiber artist. Because she just pulls the stuff out of her... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, yeah, she just makes these things up as she goes. And it just amazes me. Um, the, the amount of work that it goes into this stuff. And she doesn't write the pattern. She just does it and then just goes on, makes something else. So, I mean, I think that if she actually made knit patterns, um, she could make a bit of money on that because I have a lot of people that come into the shop that are looking for knit patterns. I'm gonna have to talk to her about that. Louise, if you're watching, we need to talk about that. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So I just, oh, so pretty, so pretty. Anyway, uh, still struggling with my door. I might have a solution. Not yet, sure yet. Oh, is this person coming in? Maybe. She's looking at my stuff in the window, so. Um, I put, uh, if you've got epilepsy, don't look because there's gonna be flashing lights. I don't know if you see, I've got lights all the way around. You know, it's hoping that that's helping. My sign that I, I have outside seems to be working a little bit, so that's good. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't have anything else right now. Anyway, just me blabbering, guys. <laughs> Me just going blah, 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 blah. <sighs> so, anyway. Okay. I'm going to get back to making my pickles and my sweater. And, uh, yeah, my Sirius satellite doesn't work in the rain. So, it's nice and quiet in here. I hate that. Um, but, yeah, i got to figure something else out for that. Okay, I'm going to go. Because i got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. TMI, TMI. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and uh, sending me love. I really appreciate it. I really do. Because sometimes I really feel alone in this world of fiber arts and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, it, it's so nice to hear from you guys. And, uh, oh, Crystal from Chronically Crocheting has put out a video. If any of you know who she is, I will leave her link on link, link on link down below. She's been away for three months um, with health issues, and she just put out a video. So I would love it if you would go and support her as well. Um, she's a wonderful woman, and uh, she's she needs fr our friendship. She really does. So just to get her through every day. So okay. I love you, Crystal. <laughs> okay. All right. I will talk to you guys later. And um, yeah, I love you all.